Hey, what is up everyone? This is Tyler G of Batman Figs on the Instagram. And today we are doing another action figure review and it is going to be on the Battle Mode Walmart exclusive DC Multiverse Cyborg figure. And he's right there in the center, front and center, posing and looking beautiful for you. And this figure comes with three accessories and it is three halves of the mother boxes that you can see right here. And the other halves come with the other Walmart exclusive figure and that is the Batman in his regular Justice League suit, not the tactical version. And there are a few differences between the full battle mode cyborg and the regular cyborg and we will be taking a look at those. But first, I want you guys to take a look this figure by himself, just up close. You can see his face is fully covered. Some different details. He also has shoulder pads. That's, that's something a little different that the other one didn't have. And I'll do a close-up of these two right now. So you can see a little bit of the differences. Besides the face and the shoulder pads, there are different paint features like right here. There's no red lines going up to his neck, and over here, you can see more red lines. Um, just other few minor differences in the sculpt here and there. This one has paint on the back. The Walmart exclusive doesn't. And yeah, there's not too much difference, but there are some. Before we go into the articulation and size comparisons i'll show you the mother boxes in case you didn't see my uh batman video review yet so this one is the themiscirin mother box from wonder woman's island this is my personal favorite i like the maroon with the gold trim the next one is the atlantean mother box and this one has more of a sand dollar type look to it with some chrome metal around the edges the corners and then the last one is the human mother box and this actually has a lot of detail in it and it is a dark base with a gold dry brush or a metallic uh, rust looking dry brush along the outside so this one's actually really cool too but my favorite is again, my favorite is the Themyscirin. I just think that looks awesome. Okay, so the, that's the accessories he comes with. Um, if you have the regular version of Cyborg, you know that he came with this little blaster uh, that his arms change into. So, I'm gonna sh uh, first thing I wondered was this guy, is he able to do it? And his arm does come off right at that spot. And he is able to put it on. So if you have the regular version, he will be able to put this on and it does look really cool. And then next we're gonna do some articulation. Um, I was kind of worried at first that these would inhibit and prevent the arms from going up, but they're actually a soft good and it's a flap that does go up along with the arms. So it doesn't prevent it at all from going up. His arms could do 360, even with the shoulder pads, it doesn't prevent it. He has a bicep swivel, a single hinge joint for the elbow, and his wrists rotate no hinge. No ab crunch, but he can rotate at the waist. His head can do a 360. He could look a little down, but that's about as much movement as you get up and down with no head pivot at all. Okay, other than that, his legs can kick out that far. They can move that far back. He can do the splits that much. He has a thigh cut, so he can rotate there. Single hinge knee. A hinged ankle. But that is it. No pivot. And it can't move around 360. So that is the Cyborg 
that is fully or fully battle ready. Now we're going to be going into size comparison so you can see how he looks next to his fellow Justice League members from the DC Multiverse line, as well as a couple comparisons of how he looks next to an, a few other um, toys from different lines and the cyborg from the DC Icons line. So first we're going to compare him to himself, standing upright. And the battle version is slightly taller. I know this angle isn't the best, but trust me, he does look slightly taller. There we go, that's a little better. That's more accurate. Yeah, very slightly taller. So, after that, I'll show you the Walmart exclusive Batman next to him. And Batman is taller. Then we have Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot, however you want to say it. And there she is next to him. And here is the King of Atlantis next to him. So they look awesome together. This whole um, line done by Mattel is actually turned out to be one of my favorite DC Multiverse lines. Uh, they did a really good job on the sculpts and paint. This looks awesome. I mean, they gave this Barry double knee joints. Like, they're starting to step up their articulation. Here is a Mafex Superman. Because the multiverse Superman still sucks. So those two look great together. Then we're going to do 7-inch Designer Series Joker Endgame. And that looks alright. A little Mezco for you. A little Mezco Joker. He scales pretty cool next to him. I don't think Joker will do much damage to Cyborg though. There is another Mezco Dark Knight Returns version. Here is a DC Icons. One of them. That looks pretty cool. And then here is Cyborg from the DC Icons line. And that looks pretty good. Last one that we will compare is a SH Figarts, Harley Quinn. Oh, I lied. We got one more comparison. I'll give you the Diamond Select Ezreal. So there he is next to different versions of himself and others from the same line and different lines. So there's the Icons version and I'll put the original DC Multiverse Cyborg up there as we come to a close. Overall, I think this figure is okay. It's not the best. I mean, if they wanted to do something like this, they should have given at least a little bit more accessories, but I, f I guess they felt like Everyone would want the mother boxes so bad that we won't care either way. And the mother boxes are cool. So, I don't, it depends to, on you. I think it's a good figure. I think the design is good. There's nothing wrong with it. I like that the shoulder pads still allow for you to be able to move him very well. I think that is a really cool design. Um, I wish they would have given him uh, his own hand cannon. And not, you don't have to rely on getting the other one. But of course, how would they get money then? So it's all a game and you got to play. You just got to decide whether or not that's the figure you want. And if you're going to go for it. So I hope you liked the review. There will be pictures at Batman Figs on Instagram. Batman Figs. I have tons of pictures there for you. So if you want to spend some time going through them, feel free. Follow. Um, please um, subscribe, like this video. If you have any comments, feel free to ask below or you can ask me at my Instagram. All right, I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you soon.